Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today's lecture is about structure of atmosphere structure means the arrangement of different parts into one in other words it is the skeleton or organization or anatomy of a whole by looking at the relationship within different parts According to this the study of different parts of atmosphere and the relationship with its parts is said to be the structure of the atmosphere vertically the atmosphere is divided into different layers what are these layers these layers are like troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and then there is thermosphere and in the last there is exosphere so therefore the study of these different layers is known as the structure of atmosphere so this diagram explains uh, the uh, different layers of atmosphere like troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and thermosphere in more precise manner so on y axis we have altitude or height in kilometers whereas on x axis we have a temperature so the first layer which is called as troposphere it extends from earth surface to about 10 km in height then from 10 to almost 50 km is the second layer which is called as stratosphere then from 50 to 85 km is the next layer which is called as mesosphere and from 85 to almost 120 km above on the in the upward side of the earth is the thermosphere so these are the main layer uh, layers of the atmosphere and uh, uh, above thermosphere is the exosphere as we have explained in the uh, previous diagram so this red line actually indicates the variation in temperature in different atmospheric layers so generally uh, we consider that as we go up in the atmosphere so the temperature should decrease but this is not the general trend so if we move uh, in the troposphere so as we go in the troposphere upward up to 10 km the temperature is reducing like uh, normal temperature if there is a uh, 20 uh, centigrade then uh, it reaches to minus 60 at the end boundary of the troposphere then there is a tropopause tropopause means at this the height of up to 20 km from 10 to 20 km there is no sharp change in temperature then in the stratosphere the temperature further increases and till it reaches the stratopause and again in stratopause the temperature does not changes and it reaches up to like 0 centigrade from then stratopause uh, at the end of the mesosphere the temperature then again decreases and it reaches minus 80 centigrade after then slight increases the temperature then again further increases in the thermosphere so there is variation in temperature as we move into the different layers of the atmosphere now here further question arises that why this layer is called as troposphere this layer is called as stratosphere this layer is called as mesosphere and this layer is called as thermosphere and next we have to find why there is this variation in temperature so uh, in the uh, next part of the lecture we will find the answers of these questions apart from troposphere mesosphere thermosphere stratosphere and um, these layers the earth's atmosphere is also divided into two major components which is called as homosphere and then heterosphere like from the earth surface till in the height of about 85 km this portion of the atmosphere is called as homosphere and above 85 km the atmosphere is called as heterosphere the homosphere hmm, up till the height of 85 km is uh, known because of the uniform com composition of gases in this environment whereas in the heterosphere the composition of the gases or the constituents of the atmosphere are not remain constant so that is why the height above 85 km is also called as heterosphere so if we uh, see in this diagram like all the layers from troposphere to mesosphere these are making the homosphere and whereas the layers from 
mesosphere to upward up till exosphere are called as the heterosphere of the atmosphere similarly if we see in this diagram uh, in which all the layers are made so from this to this all these layers are generally discussed in the atmosphere where the exosphere is the space portion of the atmosphere so if we see here that from troposphere to mesosphere all these layers constitute the homosphere whereas thermosphere and exosphere constitutes the uh, heterosphere the composition of the constituents of the atmosphere remains uniform in these layers whereas there is a variation in the composition of the atmosphere in these two thermosphere and exosphere that is why they have been placed in the uh, in the heterosphere now question is why from surface mesosphere to troposphere stratosphere these are called as the homosphere and thermosphere and exosphere is called as the heterosphere the reason is that there is strong winds and the movement of air which causes the all the composition of the air uh, or the atmosphere to mix together so as a result of which the composition of air remains constant in these three layers whereas there are stagnant conditions in thermosphere and exosphere uh, and due to these stagnant conditions what are the molecules they are present here in their place and there is no rapid movement so as a result of which with the passage of height the composition of the atmosphere varies drastically and that is why we call these layers as heterosphere of the atmosphere exo means external as we are seeing here and it starts from like 650 km where to about well above uh, up till 10000 km and this distance is uh, very big and uh, these contains very light gas molecules and mostly these molecules are hydrogen and uh, uh, helium and these are these molecules are lying far away from each other and beyond the uh, upper limit of the exosphere the space is considered to be void like the space contains nothing so these are the major layers of the atmosphere which are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere exosphere don't um, have anything interesting so in the general discussion we don't consider the exosphere so we are mainly concerned with these four layers of the atmosphere so if we see here in the mesosphere stratosphere and troposphere the composition of major constituents of the air like nitrogen and oxygen they have uniform concentrations due to the continuous circulation of air and the movement and due to the winds whereas in thermosphere and then exosphere there is non uniform concentration of these gases so that is why that is called as heterosphere so this has also been explained in this diagram the heterogeneity and homogeneity of the atmosphere so this is the summary of the vertical structure of the atmosphere and we have uh, not discussed an other sphere and that sphere is called as ionosphere and it mainly extends from the layer of mesosphere up till into exosphere and why this layer is called as ionosphere because it is an electrified region within the upper within the upper atmosphere where the large concentration of ions and free electrons exist and the ionosphere starts from about 60 km above the earth's surface and extends um, uh, up till the exosphere the ionosphere actually plays an important role in radio communications so this is the overall structure of the earth's atmosphere and uh, in this structure of the earth we have discussed various layers of the atmosphere why some layers are included in homosphere while others are included in heterosphere so this was all about today's lecture i hope you have well understood this lecture but if you have confusion let me know in the comment section i will respond to your queries as soon as possible okay thank you allah hafiz